Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Mary Cherry. Thanks so much for joining us, you guys. We are watching Blade. Believe it or not, neither of us have watched it, so this is our very, very first time watching this movie. I grew up watching uh, Wesley Snipes a bunch. I've seen like Blade 2 or Blade 3. Oh, okay. Just not the first one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interestingly enough. So I'm very familiar with, you know, Blade the character and I've seen bits and pieces in trailers and whatnot and I've only properly watched, you know, one Blade film that I can recall. In any case, I'm very, very excited to watch this with you guys, especially because like Halloween's coming up and Blade is coming back into the MCU. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture in picture. However, if you want to watch the whole thing with us, uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com com slash Jabby Kuwait or become a member of this YouTube channel to watch the whole movie with us. No cuts or interruptions, but you will need your own copy of the film so you can open it up in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you three, two, one countdown sync to make it easy. And it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. So if you're watching this on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Oh, snap. Oh, I know this actress. She was in Alien vs. Predator. Oh. What an opening. I haven't watched Wesley Snipes in a long time. I am very, very excited. I grew up watching him in everything, whether it's Passenger 57 or Rising Sun. I think he's in a movie called Brooklyn's Finest. Really oh, good. My heat seeker. Oh, bet it is. Wow. Wow. Okay. Should I see Lords? It's a surprise me. Yeah, I like surprises. I, yeah. I don't actually remember what Tracy Lords looks like. Okay. But she's like she made like techno music back in the day, and she was also an adult film star, as oh, I right. as I recall. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> Why would you do that? Why would, Why would you, you do that? Why, Why is that your instinct? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I just realized what the girl at the bottom was doing. I was looking at the kids. You're so innocent. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh nasty. Nah. This ain't a club I want to go to. That's not cool. That could be fun. Everyone seems like they're enjoying this. If this happened to me... Well, they're all vampires, right? No, they can't all be vampires. This can't be a club for va If it, I don't know. You could be trolling me right now. Okay, some of them are freaking out. Uh, <gasps> no. God. Now I'm just thinking about the fact that they have those teeth and there was a three-way makeout scene a moment ago and I'm like, why would you want someone with those kinds of teeth going down on you? That's yeah. kind of nasty. Yeah. What an introduction. Untouched by the blood. Oh, he's about to cut some motherfuckers up. That's a, that's, a, that's a dope intro for Wesley yeah. Snipes. Oh, I was expecting some sword action. Oh. Because his name is Blade, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, is that the dude from the beginning? I didn't even recognize him with all the blood all over he has, him. Yeah, he has blood all over his face. Oh, Jesus, that's right. Paramedic said he was still screaming when they found oh, him. Oh, damn. Stapled to a wall. Teeth intact? Uh-huh. Time off. I gave you some time off. It's Look, difficult. I'm trying. Really, I it's am. It's over. <laughs> Bro! It's definitely over for him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't think he was still alive. <gasps> oh, my God. 
Oh, he came, he came like a s five minutes too late. Came back to finish you off. Get out of my way, you freak! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh! I'm sorry if I blew out your ears just then. <laughs> you gotta make a decision. Do you save her? Yep. I thought he'd be thinking about his mom. <gasps> ah! Well, he knows she's been bit. Maybe he figures she'll just survive? No, that's not. He just calculated it. Oh. That is not protocol. Nope. At the end of this, you'll have to tell me which Blade you like the most. I'm already liking this one better. To be fair, it's been years since I've seen Blade 2. I was in a different place in my life. Yeah. Dr. Karen Jensen, listen close. I'm going to inject you with allium sediment. Garlic. Garlic. It'll hurt a lot. It was Quinn. Frost, little Aaron boy. You get a lead on him? No. E. Yeah. Hold it. I always wonder how they do those needle scenes in movies if they actually poke them. Yeah. You know? What a beard. Jesus. So much going on. These nightclubs of yours are dangerous. Maybe it's time we forgot about discretion. We should be ruling the humans. These people are our food, not our allies. He reminds me of. Eric from X Men. Are you to challenge our ways? You're not even a pure blood. Tano, you may wake up one day and find yourself extinct. He's got a lot of audacity. He's ambitious. Yeah. He's got cool hair. I had to increase the dose. It's over 50 milligrams now. That's getting dangerous. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a boxer. <sighs> I wonder how these two got to know each other. Nitrate, did he say? You start getting sensitive to daylight. You find you're thirsty, regardless of how much you had to drink. And I suggest you take that gun and use it on yourself. Oh. Wow. Wow, dude. Remember what we told you. You keep your eyes open. They're everywhere. But it's daytime! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Her neck, her poor neck. Uh oh. Does that They're mean everywhere. vampires? I That's guess so. Thing? Uh oh. Curtis Webb. He died. No, don't worry about that right now. Why? That was because you're dead too. <gasps> Quick move. What is this garlic? Yeah, well he said it would work against vampires. Vampires? Who said I was a vampire? Uh. Nobody. <gasps> He's a familiar. 
That's so weird. That's her apartment. You use me as bait? Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only gonna ask you one more time. Where will you take me? Go fuck yourself. Fuck me. No, you suck. Oh. <laughs> The world you live in is just a sugar-coated topping. And if you want to survive it, you better learn to pull the trigger. Wait a minute. I'm coming with you. You're useless. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a Kanye West type smile. It was so fake. <laughs> Place that you go and dawn is coming. You see the ballets over there? They're vampires. So's the doorman. And the whore in the corner. Did you say whore in the corner? Yes. <laughs> whore. <laughs> whore. Oh, oh, the entrance. I can't tell you that, man. Get it out of you somehow. Oh, oh yeah, he wasn't lying. So this is where the headquarters is, I guess. That's, this is what you gotta do when you're rich enough. <laughs> Don't keep everyone waiting. Hacking of the 90s. Look, they're using the girl as bait. And you are stupid enough to think. Shut up, bitch. I didn't know he was going to be there. It's a uh. trap, see? Oh, he's going to get shoved off the building, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, that's what... He wanted to get bit, though, right? Well, he wanted to transition into being one of them. Gross. Oh, nasty. Oh my god. Forget the girl. I want Blade. Oh, well, he's dead. I want him alive. What? <laughs> I want him alive. Oh. What? What yeah. the fuck? Oh my god. He's here. He's here. What's Jabba the Hutt doing here? <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. Congratulations, Blade. Frost. I hear you've been looking for me. I'm flattered. It'll pass. <laughs> We're gonna play a little game of 20 questions. Oh. Depending on how you answer, you may walk out of here with a tan. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that hurts nothing. It's routine research. <laughs> <laughs> that voice effect that they've got this actor using is hilarious. Oh! I burned him. Or her. That must have hurt. <laughs> it's a fragment! A piece of the prophecy! What prophecy? Oh, I'm not really sure. There's so many outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gonna wanna talk. Shit. What's in here? Nothing. It's just a storeroom, but you're wasting your time. There's nothing of importance to anyone. Then you won't mind if I take a peek. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. She seems like she's enjoying that a little yeah. too much. Yeah, she really is. Jesus. Oh. It's like... He moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my god. I I thought it expl he exploded. And cuz I closed my eyes and I heard a scream. <laughs> Thank god that was <laughs> that's not what happened. <laughs> Give me your hand. Hola amigo. Uh-oh. Do you remember me? 
Oh, oh what? She baited him. Wow. They have no regard for their history. Ouch. Nice one. Oh, Simon Ray. You can dice him, but the Quinn man just keeps on coming. Check it out. I've got his pig stick. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the? Silver. Nice craftsmanship, huh? Probably cost you a pretty penny. Come to think of a blade, I owe you one. <gasps> <gasps> Oh god. Actually, if you want to get technical blade. I owe you two. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, bright eyes. I'm expecting company. <laughs> oh. Well, rip to this museum. Oh, it's his mate. Fuckers at a bad time. Trains are just constantly running through there. <laughs> yeah, and there's not a lot of space. Oh! This is so messed. <gasps> Tell me his arm came out of his socket. What an intense sequence. Blade's mother was attacked by a vampire while she was pregnant. Oh. Unfortunately, he'd undergone certain genetic changes. So far, all my efforts to find a cure have failed. So he's kind of like his adoptive dad. Yeah. You told me what you are. I have spent my whole life looking for that thing that killed my mother. It made me what I am. That was a long time ago. Maybe you should let that go. Don't you tell me about forgetting. You will never rule us. No. <laughs> oh -ho! Have a nice day. Sorry, old dog. You just got a little too long with the teeth. <laughs> what, man? That was funny. Long tooth? Oh. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. That started off crazy looking and then it ended pretty gimmicky. <laughs> they did the best they could for yeah, the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah. of course. So what's all of this? I took a trip to the hospital last night. Take a step back. The reaction's energetic. <laughs> Maybe you could use it to explode some vampire heads. Ah! There's an idea. Oh, it's nice to finally meet you, man. Had my eye on you for years. I know all about you. Your serum, Whistler. Looks like your mascara's running. <laughs> You're nothing to me but another dead vampire. You're an idiot, you know that. Nice. 
If you want to take the hard road, be my guest now. But I promise you, by the time this is over, you're gonna wish they never cut you from your mother's room. <laughs> Through the girl. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh no! Literally? Why didn't the bus stop? <laughs> god damn. She, she's too little for, for the bus to... I'm glad she's okay, she can just yeah. keep moving after being tossed like that. I'm sure I can cure his thirst, but it's gonna take time. <sighs> We're out of time. <laughs> uh oh. Nice place. It took us a while to fight. Bite me and get it over with. I ain't gonna bite you. Oh. Just wants to torture an old man. Play me. Oh. He's blinking. He's, he's still alive. Thank God. Oh my. Listen to me, Blade. You can't go after him. Oh, shit. If Frost gets his hands on you, it's all over. I'm wondering why they don't find more pregnant women to just bite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could make things easier for themselves. God. By the time you watch this, your friend Whistler should be dead. You can find us at the Edgewood Towers. Oh, he's making bullets. Oh, gotcha. Mm. I was like, he's making tea? <laughs> it's up to him now. He doesn't have Whistler. We have a bath. <laughs> Light some candles. Put on some Enya music in the background. Chill out <laughs> before it goes on a killing spree. Oh, that's a mood. That's <laughs> a whole mood. You must have gotten scarred. Before you return. Isn't that right? Vampires like you are a species. He's so triggered. Disease. I'll tell you what we are, sister. We're the top of the fucking food chain. Blood gods coming, and after tonight, you people are fucking history. Anyone caught in his path will instantly be turned. How are you gonna cure the whole fucking world? If you get the whole world, who's gonna who are you gonna eat? Exactly. This dude is what? fucking bad. Like he's he's like you have twenty guys around him. I was there, man. He's got shit he throws at you. Then you like the sword, yeah, he had the sword. Exactly. Shit. Yeah, he's he's got got like the air, shit he throws in the air. Yeah, yeah shut the, the fucking... fuck up. <laughs> it's one guy on foot. Ooh. Why am I hearing gunfire? Huh? I'm just good with him. Jesus Christ! Lock this place down. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. oh, my God. Oh, yuck. Bro, that was goddamn disgusting. <laughs> God, this room's bright. I wonder what they called it back then, because it wasn't called a MacBook. Oh, really? Yeah, they must call it like an iBook or something like that. Or... Oh, he's going to see his... <gasps> oh, wait, is that his mom? Mom? So it is... Is he just... Is this in his head, or... Is no, he... no, no, this is real, but I didn't realize that it might be his mom. My God. <laughs> what the... What the... F don't look so surprised. You spent your whole life looking for the vampire who bit your mother. Well, here I am. Wow. I'd like you to meet an old friend of yours. Uh oh. The doctor? Oh, no. Her ex? <gasps> oh no. Uh. 
Oh god. Oh. Oh no. Garen. I never thought I would see you again. Tell me, Garen. Do you ever have second thoughts about us? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn! Oh my gosh! Second year medical school is the art of ass kicking. <laughs> That's wild, man. That he basically looks older than his mom. Mhm. Mm you know, cause Frost looks younger than Blade. Yeah. I didn't suspect that he was. I was wondering how old Frost was. Yeah. That design looks like a heart rate monitor on, EK, on an EKG or something. Try to understand, Eric. Your mother died a long time ago. Oh my god. god. What? You killed. What the fuck? And I've enjoyed it, haven't you? I know you have. Arr! Too closey! That way, that way. That way, Hope. Okay. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <sighs> Dang, she needs to brush her teeth. Yeah. <laughs> One on each limb, under the toes. Make it perfect. Is it possible he put something in his blood that's going to hurt them? Maybe he pre-prepared something, or the uh, hematologist lady prepared something beforehand. In the elevator. I do like her look though, her aesthetic. I just realized, I, th I think that Asian dude they keep showing mm -hmm. is from Mortal Kombat. Oh, the, the Chrysler building. I, I guess it is LA. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery solved. Yeah. The blood god? That's nothing more than a fairy tale. You really think he cares about you? You're gonna die. Shit. Blade. So he just needs to go to sleep. Tonight, the aged man comes oh. to an end. Is he gonna bite her? No more compromises. Blade? Yeah. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna be naughty. I'm gonna be a naughty vampire god. <laughs> he just reminds me of a stoner, that guy. <laughs> You're bleeding to death. Give him your neck or your wrist or something. There you go. Oh. Yeah. That shit is nasty. Looking. On the same spot? Like, ugh. I just get, ugh. <laughs> That was nice of her. <laughs> All right, maybe that's enough. It's kind of overindulging, hey. Oh my God, did she just say don't stop? Okay. Uh, uh, well, it depends. He might be more scary now. More powerful. Yeah. Whoa. That's cool. I must release you. Nice! It messed up the entire ritual. Oh shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah! 
Had to be done. Lost. Kill him. Wait! I owe you, man. I got two new hands, Blade. I don't know which one to use to kill you with. <laughs> Look at nice. that. He's stronger. For sure. Oh, nice. Good job, dude. Oh, <laughs> final boss time. Ooh, that jump. That guy's not as trained as Wesley Snipes. Look at the sparks. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> No way! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Why Capoeira kick? What the hell? <laughs> nice! Nice shot. Oh! Give it here! Oh. Nice! What a catch! I was gonna oh. blow up. Oh. It's like an anime. <laughs> <laughs> gonna kick it. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. This man is impressive. <laughs> Oh. Why does he have to turn into a G mutant from Resident Evil 2? <laughs> I need to get back to the lab. If I'm gonna kill you. It's not over. You keep your cure. There's still a war going on, and I have a job to do. You wanna help make me a better serum. Oh. What are you doing? It's a surprise. Surprise? Pravda. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Tovarish. Tovarish. The Blade film I saw had an ending like that, where it's like after a. I don't want to say too much because I don't yeah. want to ruin it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like the ending and then there's like the secondary ending like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and he stabs like a vampire in the head. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Were you expecting a, a post credit scene? Because that's pretty typical of uh, Marvel. Well, this is before that. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. like in this era, it wasn't often you'd get a post credit scene. Okay. It was very rare. Like one of the few films I can think of is like Street Fighter the movie and Small Soldiers. And even in Small Soldiers, it wasn't a post credit scene. It was just like an outtake or something like that. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, like, that's, it, that's good to know. It was random when you get a post credit scene in the 90s. Yeah. And then Marvel like started throwing it in there as sort of this thing. Like if you stuck around, you got to, and then it would get passed around word of mouth and eventually just became a staple of the movie. Okay. That's yeah. interesting to, to learn about. Yeah. Marvel Marvel's the one that really began that as a trend. This was interesting to watch properly for the first time. Yep. It's interesting because, you know, at the time it was cutting edge and state of the art. And now you look at it and it was like, what, 24 years ago, I guess. Yeah. And it, you know, there are certain things where it's just like, while it's violent, it's <laughs> so kind of, it's kind of goofy looking. Yeah, you yeah. Because I'm used to stuff like The Boys. Yeah, and where you it, can see every single piece of, yeah. like, everything happening. Yeah. I'm actually kind of glad I watched this years removed because it's allowed me to appreciate it more in a mm. weird, ironic way because at that time, I think this level of violence might have turned me off. But, yeah, but because, probably. But because I'm removed from it, it's not as bad. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I can just enjoy this, you know? Yeah. Obviously it was very gory at times, especially when they were exploding, when they would just enlarge and then explode everywhere. That was the worst for me. But some of the blood scenes, I think, yeah, they were pretty obviously fake. Yeah, so it was like, hard. No, nothing compares to like that opening scene from Boys season three. Yeah. You're like, nothing compares. Nothing in this movie compares yeah, to that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So now that I've I seen- I saw your reaction. Yeah, <laughs> now that I've seen the worst, it's yeah. like uh, everything else is just a piece of cake for me. You were looking away so like a lot. Yeah, I was. Like e even in this, I was kind of like, 
I think it might have made it worse for you, though. Yeah, because I, th I, I imagine stuff. Yeah. yeah, like that time where I was like, oh, I thought he blowed up, but he didn't. It yeah. was just like the the door exploding or right. something like that. Yeah, so my imagination can run wild there. Yeah, and sometimes sound effects makes things significantly worse. Yeah, absolutely. And the sound effects was quite intense for this film. When they drew their swords, for example, it's like whoosh, yeah. like, like er you could hear everything. And I could hear that it was quite, not fake, but like... It's over the top. Yeah, yeah. like modern day sound design is just a little bit more seamless, I suppose. I think this is on purpose though. Yeah. I think it was meant to be a little bit cheesy, mm -hmm. a, a a little bit tongue-in-cheek is very self-aware at times mm -hmm. and I think that was all deliberate because it's appealing to a certain demographic which is like cheesy vampire action yeah but like it was still done with a certain degree of quality that is you you can appreciate it's, yeah. it's it strikes an interesting balance yeah and it's like it's not all the way cheesy it's not all the way high art or something like that yeah. or you know uh I, i'm trying to think of the other end of the spectrum but it's like it strikes that middle ground yeah what's even more fascinating is to for me to contextualize this with the era where it came out because it was li literally like a year before the matrix released yeah it does bear some similarities in terms of attitude style they're both rated r they both have an obsession with like nighttime and, and darkness and black clothes and mm -hmm. trench coats and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the trench coat was definitely matrixy. Yeah. I found the character Blade to be very interesting as well because he was very complex and that plot twist as well. How crazy was that plot twist? Yeah. Did you see it coming at all? No. As soon as the thing was opening up and Blade was in the room, I knew it was his mom. Yeah. For some reason it clicked. I was like, oh, that must be his mom. And right. that's why there's so much suspense building up here. It is odd that we've seen two movies in 48 hours yeah. that have that sort of weird thing yeah. baked into it of like it just seems Oedipus Rexy. Yeah, you yeah, know? because she got way too close to her son there to the point where I was like Brody. Yeah, like and, and this is Brody. like Marvel as well. It's the uh, first time. a lot of crazy stuff in Marvel. Yeah, yeah, but I haven't seen like mother son like yeah. you know, in yeah. Marvel at least. Yeah, I mean there, I think that a lot of the more adult natured stuff has been sort of set to the side mm -hmm. for the better part of the last, you know, fifteen years or whatever it is, because it's yeah. it's been building out this empire of PG-13 films. Yeah, that's true. You did mention that. This was before that. This was before, like, you know, the pair pairing up with Disney and all that mm. stuff and kind of mapping out this game plan for a decade of movies and whatnot or, yeah. or, or longer than that. Which should explain why this is R-rated. Right. And all of the other Disney stuff I've seen is, like... M at the very most. Yeah, but this was not Disney. Yeah, the, yeah, it was yeah, before yeah, that. Exactly. Before the merge. Exactly. One of the earliest movies from the MCU was actually Paramount. Oh. Captain America, the first Avenger, I believe is a Paramount film. Oh, okay. Yeah. I really, really liked Wesley Snipes in this role. Mahershala Ali, I think, is a phenomenal actor, but seeing this now, I do wish that they found a way to keep him as Blade. If Wesley Snipes is older, I don't think he's that much older than Mahershala Ali. Yeah. I think Mahershala Ali is like 46 years old. So I'm like, why wouldn't you get Wesley Snipes again? But yeah. they're going for a new tone, you know? Yeah. This has made me excited for the new Blade movie. I feel like I should probably check out the second and the third one. This one was better for me. Okay. Yeah, but I'm also much older than when I watched the other Blade yeah. film that I'm thinking of. The thing about it is I've heard that they get progressively worse with each oh, installment. Right. You know, I always hear that with trilogies or sagas. The first one's always, typically it's, always the standout one? It just depends. Like, Back to the Future, I think the second one was my favorite. Okay. Ninja Turtles, the second one was my favorite. For a lot of people, Terminator 2. Was, Terminator 2, that's right, that's right. Yeah, favorite. Terminator 2 is the favorite, is the best. And then, like, if it's, if it's a planned trilogy, like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, then, you know, typically the films are sort of uniform in their quality. Yeah. I mean, I guess a lot of people say Empire of the Strikes Back is their favorite. So, anyway, that's, a, you know, an aside. Yep. Regarding the action in this, there were many instances where the action was just, like, shining, and I thought it was really really cool as someone who really really appreciates good fight scenes and like in terms of camera work in terms of choreography execution and movement and all that stuff they had some great moments in here but there were also a lot of moments marred in bad camera technique and bad editing and i think that it was used to cover up instances where the actors just weren't performing as well as wesley snipes yeah. or you know it's like i could tell in the sword movement that there must have been many instances where that actor that wesley snipes was fighting had a double because you right. could tell like the way he was swinging it it just wasn't quite 
it didn't have as much technique as Wesley Snipes. Yeah. But about Wesley Snipes, I mean, he had so much swag for a superhero. He Just, was cool. Yeah, it was so dope. Like the when he dropped down into the middle of that, um, I don't know what that's dope, called. Like the, dome. Yeah, the temple. He comes out with this with this wire and cuts the dude's head off. And it's like, if I saw this when it came out, I wouldn't have been able to appreciate it like the way I can now. Yeah. I thought that was dope. He was so slick and he just looked so cool. The music is the music of its time. Yeah, like you, you hear the same thing in Matrix 19, yeah. you know, 1999. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it works. It works for the film and it, and it helps to like, it, it kind of like crystallizes, you know, that era a little bit. Please, audience members who are of African-American descent, tell me if I'm speaking out of pocket here. But to me, this also kind of qualifies as a sort of modern day black exploitation film in its execution because there's a certain vibe to them. I have not seen really any black exploitation films. I've only been familiar with them through copying or like spoofing and stuff like that. Like I watched Badass, but it's got this long name, Badass or something like that. I think that's the name of it. And it was like the first black exploitation film. It was, or rather, it was made by the son of the director who made the first black exploitation film. Right. And it was a biopic of his dad. Okay. And then I watched Black Dynamite, right. which kind of like Shaun of the Dead is making fun of black exploitation, but then becomes like this dope black exploitation film. Okay. You know, cause Shaun of the Dead is making fun of the zombie genre and then becomes an amazing zombie film. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And and so there are certain things in here that I'm like, I feel like it, it just kind of gives me the same sense, the same vibe, but I, I have a cursory understanding of black exploitation. So I might be out of line there in my, you know, I might be wrong, but you guys can let me know if, I'm at all in the realm of of my understanding here. Because I wasn't aware of Blade up until I, very recently when you guys made me aware of Blade. I always thought the first black superhero was the Black Panther, actually. So, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he he's not a typical hero hero, but he is a hero. He's fighting urges that he that was given to him in his DNA mm -hmm. and he's trying to help his community he's trying to do better for the world I thought that was interesting too because I guess the Black Panther is marketed as like the the first black superhero. Uh, I mean he's the he's the most n notable maybe I feel like Blade is the first most notable one, um, okay. but you're also younger than me. So Spawn came out in 97, one year before Blade. Okay. And Spawn, I believe stars Michael J. White, if I'm not mistaken. Michael J. White is black. I watched it once a long time ago. I don't remember the film at all, other than the post credit scene is weird because it goes sideways. But Spawn is a, a black superhero as well. Okay. And it has it's the same sort of edgy vibe, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's also rated R. Well, there's two versions, I guess. There's a PG-13 version that was released in 98 afterwards. I liked the overall design of the character Blade. I mean, you know, the thing about it is sometimes you look at costumes years removed and you're like, it's kind of cheesy. Yeah. Blade's uh, uh, outfit still looks cool. Yeah, pretty timeless if you I know. do say so myself. But again, he's got the whole trench coat thing. You can't really go wrong with the trench coat. And he's like obviously got like some sort of protective layer as well that makes him look bigger than he is as well. Oh, he's a, Wesley Snipes. He's a, a sizable huge guy. guy. Yeah, he's yeah, a, he's yeah. a big guy. But, but the outfit def definitely makes him look even more even bulkier. In, yeah, intimidating. But um, I, I think that his costume for whatever reason, stands the test of time. And I think that his guns also look pretty cool. I was looking at it uh, up close when he handed his gun off to- Whistler? And Whistler, yeah, yep. Whistler. You get to see it up close for the first time, and I think the design of it is really neat. It, it almost feels like, much in the same way that they described Robert Pattinson's Batman, of how it's all sort of makeshift, yeah. and he put it together himself. That's yeah. how that came across. I know Whistler helped him out, yeah. but it still sort of had that makeshift vibe to the whole thing. And I liked just the, that look of it. I thought it yeah. was pretty neat. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, face all notifications, and book this up at YouTube. Know you're enjoying what you're watching. Follow Mary Chair on the social media. Follow her on YouTube and Twitch. If you're watching this on Patreon and memberships, thanks so much for supporting here. Really, really appreciate y'all. That's it for now. I am Jabby Koi. This is Mary Cherry. Peace out.